Welcome to the Hashtag Invest This Podcast, where the secrets for real estate investing are revealed. Now, here's your host, Scott Bauer. And welcome, everybody, to the 37th episode of the Hashtag Invest This Podcast. I am your host, Scott Bauer. And today, we're blessed to have uh, Mitch Ginsberg with Comloan on us today. Mitch, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing very well. Good. Mitch is born and educated in South Africa. Uh, he's been working in real estate lending for over 30 years and is the co-founder of, of Comloan, which is a commercial real estate marketplace that provides any commercial real estate borrower unprecedented access to the capital markets. So with that being said, uh, Mitch, why don't you give the listeners a little bit more about your background and kind of what you're focused on now? Sure. Thanks, Scott. So, you know, as I guess the intro said, I was uh, born in South Africa, educated in South Africa, uh, pretty much in, in finance and accounting, worked uh, with a big eight accounting firm back in South Africa and, and joined one here in the United States. Got into residential lending um, probably, you know, about 30 years ago. Um, was in residential lending for about 25 years and um, really expressed a lot of the the technology that um, was used in residential lending, automated underwriting systems, automated pricing engines. Um, after the events uh, preceding 2008 and the and the meltdown within residential, uh, got out of residential and and really was struck by the lack of technology in the commercial lending space where, you know, the, it, it was, it's, it, it has been essentially devoid of any kind of technology. Uh, you've got a very fragmented marketplace, uh, a lot of different players, a lot of different products and, and really, really confusing for any commercial uh, real estate borrowers. So, um, you know, was, was struck by that and, and realized that there had to be a better way. And, and that took me down the path of, of um, developing Com Loan which really provides a marketplace and um, a search engine for any commercial real estate borrower to have access to the capital markets in a, in a very efficient manner. So um, I think that, that sort of gives you the, the 30,000 foot view, how we got to where we are. Definitely. Yeah. And it really did. You know, a lot of people, I think it's very common for people to make a transition from residential to commercial when you're in the real estate investment space. Not so often have I heard that that's the same when it comes to the lending side. So, you know, let's back up just a little bit when it was, when it came to residential lending, what are some of the major differences that you see uh, between the two? So, so residential lending, you know, and, and I think this is ultimately what got us all into trouble and, and resulted in the 08 collapse was a very, very high percentage, probably in the 90 percentile, um, of the loans are securitized and sold off onto the secondary markets. The big drivers and the big institutions being Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, um, you know, putting the securities together. But, all, you know, all the big national banks were, were aggregators putting mortgage-backed securities together. So you, you're dealing with a very homogeneous marketplace, essentially, where, you know, the, the bulk of the loans all have to fit within certain securities. So they're very similar in the way they're underwritten. The guidelines are very similar and the rates are very similar. So, I mean, that is the case almost even today where on a residential loan, a 30-year fix is a 30-year fix, the 15-year fix, a 15-year fix. So certain lenders have certain overlays. You might have Fannie Mae, you've got VA, but, but, and, and then the conventional market, but, but really not a very diverse, very homogeneous marketplace. So as a result, you know, back decades ago, um, you had automated underwriting engines, which are still very much the driving force on how residential loans are underwritten, where, you know, there's the, the, the borrower's parameters are keyed into um, those underwriting engines and, and results come out. And, the, and that's essentially the driver for, virtually every single residential mortgage bank. In addition, there were very sophisticated pricing engines, uh, which would price the loans based on the, um, the, the bond market and the ability, you know, so, so as the bond market moved, that, that would give instant pricing um, for the residential loans. That is almost the antithesis of where commercial lending is. Commercial lending, you have um, 
a very, very diverse group. You know, you do have commercial mortgage-backed securities, which is the CMBS market, but it's a very, very small percentage of the loans being uh, funded in the commercial space. But then you have this huge diverse group of players. You've got life insurance companies. You've obviously got the CMBS players. You then got Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which are involved in the multifamily space on commercial. You have, you know, national federally chartered banks. You have state chartered banks. You have credit unions. You have private money funds. You have private family offices, et cetera, et cetera. So a huge diverse group of players. And within each group, you've got varying products and, and guidelines and, and, and players will come and go. So it's, it's, it's very, very confusing. There's the, and, and, and because of that, really nobody has developed any kind of technology to simplify it. And we feel very, very fortunate that we were able to, um, as they say, crack the code and, <laughs> and develop a, um, a search engine that um, was able to simplify the, the, the you know, and, and aggregate this extremely diverse group of lenders and products and create a search engine which really simplified it for the borrower to, to, you know, once we understand what the borrower's variables are, the system will look at probably about 30 key underwriting variables and, um, and match that borrower to the appropriate lender with a very, very high degree of accuracy, probably in the 95 percentile. So would you say, Mitch, that you are kind of uh, treading in, in new water when it comes to developing this type of system? I mean, for the commercial lending space, are there other systems out there that are similar to this? Is your competition or is it the standard brokers and just the standard banks that people typically are going to that would be a competition for you? So, so yeah, I, th I think the, pri the, the main competition is the status quo, essentially, right. is, is, is your typical mortgage broker. And, and you know, there are other entities out there that claim to be a marketplace. And I think what, what really sets us apart and, and, you know, those entities that do claim to be a marketplace, their business model is essentially the borrower goes online, fills in a, an application, which essentially becomes a lead form. They then through their platform, allow a number of banks to have access to it. And the banks will pick up whichever lead they feel they want to pursue. From a borrower experience point of view, that borrower then is having to deal with multiple lenders, however many lenders did decide to pick up that lead in presenting documentation. And, and so, so it's a very time consuming, laborious process for the borrower. And, and essentially the lenders are in the driver's seat because the lenders are the ones deciding, do I want to pick up that particular lead? The huge difference with Comloan is we put the borrower in the driver's seat. The borrower is the one that ultimately define the criteria that they're looking for. They will define, you know, what is on their wish list, and the system will match them with the lenders that meet those criteria. We recognize that this is a very technical product, so we match the borrower up with a very seasoned loan consultant or loan officer or credit manager. You know, I get those terms are are used into are interchangeable. But, but a very seasoned loan originator who will work with the borrower and use the technology, manipulate the technology to ensure a phenomenal borrower experience. So I think, I think that is really the key, key difference for Comloan is we focus on that borrower experience. And, and yes, using technology to provide unprecedented access to the capital markets, provide that perfect match to the right lender, Yet they're dealing with one individual at Comloan who will hand, you know, essentially hold their hand from origination to funding. So really providing that concierge service, like it's it's almost like sitting down with 350 of your favorite loan officers simultaneously uh, by sitting down and 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 our uh, loan consultant really having access to to the technology. So. We're very, very focused on the borrower experience and, and almost taking a page out of what, you know, Amazon has done for retail. Right. So, so Amazon has got a great search engine, but, you know, it's a search engine. And, and yeah, that search engine will match them with the particular product that they're looking for. But I think what Amazon did, and, and I think what has led to their enormous success, is they've taken a step forward and said, let's focus on the buyer experience. 
let's focus not only on matching them with the right product, but let's focus on that overall experience. And, 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 and that's where they got into delivery times and communication and really redefined retail. I mean, if, if I would have told you 10 years ago that you would have gone online, ordered a product and same day had that product delivered to your house, you would have thought, you know what, you know, what's this guy on? <laughs> and, 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 but, but that's how they've, they've pushed the envelope by focusing on that, their, the, the buyer experience. And that's really our focus is let's focus on the borrower experience. Let's use technology to cut the time, cut the cost, um, create that perfect match, but constantly keeping an eye on the borrower experience and ensuring that it's a superior experience. You know, when you, when you talk about the process like that, everything that comes to my mind is why would you not do that? Why, why, if I'm, if I have a product, let's say I have an apartment complex that I'm going to buy or a commercial building that I'm going to buy. And why would I not come to Comlo? I mean, really, because it's a firsthand, it's a concierge service most, you know, for the most part. And, you know, is it a lack of education? People don't understand what Comlo offers because you know, the majority of the people that are listening to this podcast right now are either, multifamily investors are commercial investors, residential investors. It's all investors in, in their specific niches. But when I talk about com loan, people think that it's just another brokerage out there. Would, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I, I think, I think absolutely to answer your question is it's, it's just changing habits. You know, I'm, I'm, I've, I've always been used to going to my mortgage broker and he, you know, he's my buddy and we play golf or, or, or this, my favorite banker, you know, most of the time he can get my deal done and, and he's a good guy and I've known him for all these years. And, and, and that's, that's essentially, it's, it's creating those, re, you know, changing habit and, and like anything, you know, once again, you know, I think, I think a large percentage of consumers 10 years ago would visit traditional stores and, and, and bought their product or whatever they were looking for that, you know, through the traditional channels until habits change and you know then they right. tried amazon once or any of these online platform once and it's like wow that was easy um and 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 that habit changes so so it's 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 to get people to take that leap of faith i mean the the, the beauty with com loan is there's really no upfront cost there's no obligation they really got nothing to lose to try it you know it's it's uh, you know other than just the old habit and and i really like the guy that i'm working with but, but, you know, I, th I think like anything, um, this, this will redefine ultimately the way commercial real estate loans are originated because it makes sense. It makes sense. It, 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 it's just, it's just the next, I think commercial real estate lending is one of the last bastions holding out to do things the old traditional way. Things haven't changed for eons. Every aspect of our lives has been redefined by technology, you know, from our retail purchases to travel. I mean, look at the travel industry, the travel industry, you know, what, however many years ago and whether it was 20 years ago, whatever the case might be, was dominated by travel agents, right? So travel agents is really what to the travel industry, what the mortgage broker is to the commercial real estate lending industry. They had limited access to a certain number of airlines, a certain number of hotels. So you, you would want to go and book a trip. You would go to your neighborhood travel agent, sit down with them and they'd say, all right, well, you, you want to go here? I'll book you on this airline. You want to stay? I'm going to book you in this hotel. Was that the best deal for you? Probably not because they really had limited access to who they had relationships with. Fast forward today, you've got Travelocity, Orbitz, Priceline, et cetera, et cetera. And now you've almost got unprecedented access. You've got access to any airline in the world, any hotel in the world. And, and the travel agent, to a large extent, has gone by the wayside with the exception of extremely structured um, trips, you know, uh, where, where, where there are a lot of moving parts and you, you almost want that, that uh, structured environment. Recognizing that commercial real estate lending is very technical, we still match you with that upfront person to provide the consultation, to help manipulate the data, to get the best result for you. But the, you know, the, the system and the technology and the database is essentially giving you access to live pricing, kept 100% current and up to date, um, 
at, at a click of a button. So, so you know, it's it, once again, the analogy almost is the mortgage broker of today is what the, for, for the commercial real estate lending industry is what the uh, travel agent was for the, uh, the travel industry. Yeah. And that's, that's a, a great example and a great um, comparison. That's for sure. You know, I would say that, and, and technology is a major key in that as well, right? Because now we have the technology. This is so apparent throughout all different aspects of real estate, real estate investment and lending, of course. But technology has allowed you to, to, to change the industry, to be a disruptor, right? A now, yeah, carry when, on. when you're talking about there's no cost, no upfront cost, let's talk about that for a minute. Because to have a concierge service like that, has to cost something. Obviously, you as a company needs to be profitable. So of the listeners out there that are listening to this podcast and probably thinking what we're all thinking, which is, wow, I need to try them out, <laughs> right? What is the cost? So, so, so the, you know, the, the way that it works is we get paid when the loan closes. So essentially, we, we're putting our money where our mouths are. Um, you know, we don't charge an application fee. We don't charge an upfront fee. It, essentially, when when we successful and we've achieved and met the borrower's needs and, and closed the real estate transaction they were looking for, that's when we get paid. And generally the majority of the lenders that work with us um, will discount their upfront fees and costs. Generally they, for the majority of the lenders, they don't charge any origination because we do a lot of the heavy lifting. We, we gather up all the paperwork, we run the spreads, we look at the underlying documentation and present the banks with a very detailed loan package that is using a lot of technology as well, which, you know, pulls in comparables and, and, and market data. And it's a very comprehensive, complete package. So from the bank's perspective, they have to invest very, very little time to at least get it in front of their credit committee and, and, and provide a very definitive decision that, yes, yeah, subject in most cases just to third parties, we want to do this deal. That's the kind of term sheet the borrower is going to be presented with. So from the bank's point of view, they, they are getting quality loans that really fit their needs, which is a huge, huge benefit to the banks as well, because they used to seeing a ton of different loans coming across at, at varying degrees of completeness and accuracy. So they're wasting an enormous amount of time on loans that really don't fit. Our technology is, is doing that first initial underwrite to say, this is a loan that meets your guidelines. Our credit analyst who will then gather up the paperwork and process the loan is validating the initial information given to us, making sure that the rent rolls and the, um, the, the T12s, et cetera, support the underlying net operating income. We've got all the correct supporting documents that the underwriters ultimately are gonna to wanna to see and we present a very complete package. So it's, it's an enormous cost saving to the bank. And as a result, they will discount what they would have charged normally upfront to originate the loan. Um, so, so in the majority of instances, it's not going to cost the borrower a dime more working through us or working directly through the institutions. Like anything, where there's competition and the institutions know they are competing, they're going to put their best foot forward. And, and a great example of a, a real life situation, we, we did a loan for a, for a guy when there was refinancing an existing building um, that he had. And he had originally gone to his bank, which just so happened to be on our platform as well. Uh, he, he got a quote from his bank, uh, but you know, from his bank's perspective, this was an existing client. They were just re-upping the loan, just redoing it. So they gave him, yeah, okay, pricing. When they quote on our system, they knew they were up against every other institution in that particular area for that particular property. So they really sharpened their pencil and put their best foot forward. The, the, the long and the short of the story is we landed up closing with his bank through our platform at a better rate and less cost than he was quoted directly through his bank. And, and there's, there's no secret to how that happened. It's just competition. Yeah. You know, the, the, the institutions knew they were, were competing, so they put their best foot forward. So it's a win-win for the institution. It's a win-win for the, the borrower just by creating an efficient environment that the lenders are going to get the right loans that fit their needs, and the borrowers are going to get the best deal because of competition. 
Yeah, you know, um, all all of that that you're that you've said there t- makes a ton of sense, um, and really saves for everybody. It is a truly a win win for everybody involved. So let's talk about you know how you've gone from the very beginning to where you're at now, and kind of what it looks like in the next five years. Because I've I've known about Comloan since you guys I think uh, first started up as a company, or right around that time, and I've seen your growth and how much you have grown in that amount of time, probably in the last five years, right? And it's been fantastic to see that. But where do you see it going now? Are you guys feeling some traction? Are you getting, you know, are you getting lots of lenders and lots of people learning about Comloan and, and giving you a shot? Where are you at with that? So, so you know, like anything, it's it's a process. Yep. And and you know, when when you're in a startup, particularly when you're disrupting a, an industry, uh, and there's really no roadmap as to the the correct path. It's a little bit of trial and error, right? And, and, you know, so you bump your head and you say, oops, that hurt. No, you know, let's adjust. So I think, I think initially from the lender's perspective, you know, we would, you know, almost, you know, have to beg, I guess, to some extent to get lenders onto our platform because, you know, they had to invest a little bit of time, energy and effort for us to, you know, input all their data into our database. Um, and that's changed dramatically. I mean, we have now lenders reaching out to us, asking to be on t- on the platform, and and we we have a vetting process to ensure that they are going to add value and 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 add you know value for the borrowers and and additional choice and options for the borrowers. So that's been a dramatic shift over the last you know four years or so that we've uh, we've well we haven't been up and running for four years. It took about a year and a half to develop the technology. So it's been probably just over two years that we've been up and running and actually um, doing loans. So that's, that's been a huge shift Um, from the, the borrower's perspective, you know, like anything as well, we've, we've learned, you know, we've streamlined the process. um, We've um, developed best practices and, and, and best procedures to continually improve that borrower experience. So, you know, as, as we learn and as we've evolved uh, and as our technology has evolved, um, we, we've, you know, been able to build on that success. We have a, a full-time development team that has been with us from day one. So that have been with us for almost four years for the first year and a half, just building and developing the technology. And then from this point on enhancing. So the, so the way it works, like most successful um, technology platforms will, will, will we'll come up with a particular process flow or procedure and um, you know, possibly do it manually for a while, ensure that it truly works and that it's successful and it is gonna add that value benefit to streamline the process and provide a better experience for the borrower. And then we'll, and then we'll build it back into the technology. So you know, the, the platform as it appears today is very very different to what it was a year ago and i have no doubt will be very different in a year's time and that's with any technology platform be it amazon or any one of these online platforms they're continually learning and evolving and improving to to enhance that experience i think the core thing is 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 the core belief that within the dna of of comloan that it's it's a borrower centric model that our Everything we look at is to say, how is this going to impact the borrower experience and, and how is this going to improve the borrower experience? And, and that's really the key to the whole platform. So I think we're, we're very excited about our growth trajectory, um, the, the type of loans, the quality of loans that we've been getting. And um, yeah, I think we, you know, we anticipate significant growth for next year, um, you know, certainly in the, in, you know, a multiple of what we're doing now and not just, you know, up 10% or 20%, you know, it'll, you know, hopefully grow to 300%, our, our, you know, is our, our hope and belief. And um, it's just very, very exciting. Very exciting. And very, very exciting. I mean, it's, it's as such a lot of technology platforms are, they move very rapidly. They're very quick. And uh Let's talk about where you're located. Can borrowers, you know, can they have access to Comloan anywhere in the country? Are you specialized in, you know, just in Arizona here or just the Southwest? Let's talk about that because I'm sure the listeners are wondering. Yeah, sure. So, so we, you know, 
our our focus and we've been beta testing predominantly in the southwest in in arizona and california predominantly we have a pretty strong presence in florida as well but i say our core markets up till now have been arizona and california depending on the product because we have all the national lenders on our platform and we um you know and and fannie mae and freddie Mac and all the big cmbs players that we have closed multiple loans nationally. Uh, but when you start getting to the, some of the smaller niche type loans, probably Arizona and California are the niche market because that's where we have the, the greatest coverage. And as we, as we grow, we'll, we'll start bringing on some of the smaller niche lenders in, in different states. But for example, if somebody's looking to do an, a multifamily uh, that would qualify for agency or you know some of the larger national banks, we, we can close that very easily anywhere in the country um, it's, it's when you start getting with some of those smaller niche loans that Arizona and California probably would be um, you know where we the would have the best coverage at this point you have the most competency and have done yeah. the most deals obviously you're here uh, in Arizona so that makes a lot of yeah. sense but once again from a growth standpoint that's really exciting because you have the other 48 states that ideally or 47 I guess if you count Florida that you can that you can expand to and really bring this to market which is exciting so you're testing and verifying now here in the state that you know arizona california verifying the information making sure that it works performing on what you say you're going to do with borrowers also with the lenders i'm sure because if a lender jumps on your platform and then all of a sudden you know you give them some business but for whatever reason you don't end up performing then obviously that's not a good that's, that's not good they wouldn't like that but if you know, obviously you're growing, so you are performing, which is exciting. Yeah, absolutely exciting. And, and really very, very focused on, on borrower feedback. You know, we've had phenomenal reviews uh, on Google up till now from past borrowers. So I think, I think the, you know, as long as we continue to just focus on that borrower experience, um, you know, I, I think, you know, that's, that's truly going to be the key to the success using the technology but never never you know taking our eye off what is that borrower experience and and is it superior to anything else out there which we truly believe it is um there's not a lender out there that is going to be able to provide the level of access um to the number of loan products in the time frame that we can typically right up front in the process we're probably cutting two weeks out of the process right in the beginning out the gate and we're continually looking at where we can chip time our objective is really ultimately to cut the time that it takes to close a commercial loan to be able to cut that in half um and and um you know we've we've already made significant progress just in the amount of time that we've reduced out of the upfront process you know, that is, that is, uh, this is an exciting time, man. You know, I really appreciate you sharing kind of your journey going everywhere from South Africa here to the States and your experience in residential lending, um, you know, finding an opportunity to be a true disruptor. I mean, that is a, that is a very exciting thing. Something that not, a, not very many people can say, uh, but is, is exciting for you and exciting for Calm Loan. Um, you know, I appreciate you sharing kind of the whole process, how it works. I'm sure the listeners do as well. Um, and, you know, hoping to grow to the rest of the country and really expand the operation um, in the future. So with that being said, are you ready for a lightning round? Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's get into it. What is your hashtag invest this tip to keep our listeners moving forward? Um, you know, just um, commercial real estate, uh, multifamily, um, I, I believe looks really strong for the for the foreseeable future. I don't see any cracks in it, so stay the course. Stay the course, and maybe give Com Loan a chance and say, okay, absolutely, hey, let's test them out a little bit. Let's let's test them out. Let's uh, make the process easier. <laughs> um, what, do you have a favorite book that you've ever read that's been very impactful for you? I guess you know, having come from South Africa, um, Nelson Mandela is very dear to my heart. I think he demonstrated a resilience, um, a grace, uh, having, having gone through probably the amount of hardship that very few people in their lifetime would ever experience. And, you know, God forbid they do have to experience it. He, 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 he showed a resilience and a, 
a poise that all of us could learn from. So his book, Long, Long Walk to Freedom, uh, I, I found extremely enlightening and um, just a phenomenal example that we can all follow uh, as far as just character and, um, and, you know, grit under fire, essentially. Yeah, that's huge. I have not read that book. Um, you know, I could probably jump on Amazon and have it at my doorstep today. Exactly. Um, and I appreciate you sharing that. How about advice? You know, we all come, uh, you know, get advice from people. Do you have anybody or what specific advice have you been given that has been very impactful for you? You know, I think, I think and, and bringing it sort of back to the, the business world and, and, and particularly the experience of, of starting something new um, is, is if, if you truly believe in the vision and you truly believe in what you're doing is going to change an environment, be disruptive, change people's lives for the better, stay with it. You know, it's, it's, it's never going to be easy and they are going to be extremely dark moments where you feel the walls are closing in and, and, you know, you, but you could just got to stay with it and stay the course. And, um, and as long as, as long as your vision is true and your vision is pure, you'll get through it. Absolutely. That, that is huge advice. Um, I always try to give a similar type of advice where, you know, if you just don't give up, you can never be beaten. Right. Exactly. So exactly. that, that is huge. How do you like to give back? Um, do you do anything specific, uh, to give back either in the community or in business or in your life at all? You know, I, th I think for me and, and, um, a huge, huge part in what I've done in the past um, has been involved in, in education nonprofits. Um, and, you know, I think particularly in the third world, and, and that's an area where I would like Comloan to become more involved as, as we evolve and mature as a company and are able to, to focus more on, um, you know, community awareness. I, th I think through education, you truly can change the world. Um, you know, by, by people being educated, um, you, you, you not only give them the tools to be able to make good decisions and be able to evaluate, um, you know, evaluate decisions wisely. Um, you know, you, you, you give them the tools and the hope for, for a brighter future. And I, th I think a huge part of, of, of a lot of the challenges around the world is a lack of opportunity, a lack of education. And as a result, People accept inept governments. People accept unbelievable corruption because they really, you know, don't have a choice. So I think, I think truly, you know, you can support food drives, which are important. And, and I think, but, but, but essentially it's a band-aid. You know, you, you truly are going to be able to change the world and, and change, um, you know, make, create long-term change by by education so I, th I think that's really my passion and and ultimately where i'd, I'd like to see um com loan focusing that's huge that's definitely huge i think um you know lack of education is very common around the world so i appreciate you sharing that and with that being said where can the listeners find you if they want to learn more about com loan if they want to give it a shot and send one of their their properties to you or um figure out you know how they can get involved where can they find you at so, you know, the website is extremely simple. You know, it's at just uh, comloan.com, C-O-M-M-L-O-A-N.com. You know, on our website, you just click on get a quote, fill in literally, if it takes you three minutes, it's a lot, um, some basic information. A loan consultant will then reach out to you and, and walk you through the process and counsel with you. So, or alternatively, you can just call our toll-free number which is 877-566-8734. Uh, I'll repeat that, 877-566-8734. And uh, you'll be connected with a loan consultant who will once again walk you through the process. So it's, it's very painless. There's, there's, you know, from a, once again, from a borrower experience point of view, it's, it's going to be no different from an ease point of view of sitting down with your favorite mortgage broker buddy, but the end result is gonna be infinitely different.
you're going to save money. You're going to get the best opportunity that you possibly can, or at least for, for the most part. And it's going to be a, a quicker process for you. So absolutely. You know, all the listeners out there, like I said, at the beginning of the call, I've seen Com Loan evolve and it's truly worth a shot. So, um, you know, we're going to make sure to add into the show notes where to find them online. Also the toll free number to give them a call. Um, you know, I highly recommend it. Uh, you have nothing to lose by giving them a shot and most likely you're going to have uh, a big benefit out of it. So Mitch, it was really great having you today. I appreciate you sharing all the information about Com Loan. Um, and I look forward to staying in touch and watching you guys just blow it up. Likewise. Appreciate the time, sir. Thank you. We will uh, talk to you real soon. All right. Thanks, God. Take okay. care, man. You too. Alrighty. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this podcast to help us spread the word. Go ahead and reach out to Scott Bauer on all the social media outlets for suggestions on topics and guests for the show. And check out investthispodcast.com for more secrets and resources to achieve real success in real estate.